So welcome everyone to our Love, Peace and Harmony uh, session. This is our self-care and service practices in the Love, Peace and Harmony field. My name is Laurie and I'm very honored to be with all of you today. And um, so let us get started. I'll share what I hope to do with you today. And um, let's see if I can get to where we want to start. Okay. So, so today I thought, okay, so today I thought that we would start with um, doing your check-in as to how you're feeling. Welcome, Brian. Thank you for joining where we are today. And we will kind of go over actually um, just some of the coping strategies and then do a practice in the field, okay? So when we're looking at how we are doing, you might want to think about these areas that are our gauges and it could uh, let us know where we are in terms of stress level or, you know, those of us who may be kind of burning out on certain um, services or work. Um, so these would be our thoughts, our emotions, our bodily symptoms or sensations, and our actions and behavior. So maybe just kind of close your eyes, take this moment to check in to see how you're doing. And if you're feeling okay, wonderful. This could be a wonderful preventive uh, time a time to just kind of refresh, rejuvenate, kind of increase your foundation or this, uh, like your battery pack to kind of keep you going for the rest of the day, the rest of the week, okay? So you can give yourself a number of where you are. And um, what I wanted to just reiterate is some of, I just picked out a few of the coping strategies that we've been talking about in the last few sessions, especially um, recovering after like a disaster or any kind of challenge you may have, uh, you know, you need to take time for yourself to self-care. So you can be of better service. So one of the ones that for me, I. Uh, note is like to eat, hydrate, exercise, and get rest on a regular basis. You know, really taking care of our physical body um, can make you feel better. And a lot of times when we're busy or we are, you know, working hard, um, you know, many people are working on their recovery efforts. And it's easy to get, kind of get caught up in that very high level pace, feeling we have to do, do, do. Um, but not really uh, being mindful of where we are. And it is okay to engage in fun and restoring activities, including exercise, hobbies, social uh, activities. And today I was hoping to go with my daughter to just kind of um, look at the beach. So we'll see some pictures. Of, we weren't able to go because she wasn't feeling well. Uh, but there are healthy ways that we can relax. And we'll do some of that in our session. You know, these may do the breathing exercises, meditation, mindfulness, calming, self-talk, and soothing music. So hopefully we'll have uh, a mixture of these soothing meditative strategies, and we will be able to do it in our love, peace, and harmony field, which I feel uh, provides very pure, high, level frequencies, vibrations, and messages that can really help us transform on a um, deep level, okay? So I wanted to uh, have you use your creative visualization and think about an area, a place that you find relaxing and restoring. We will include the love, peace, harmony feel there. So Today, we were actually planning to go to a beach um, similar to this one, um, and we, we went there last week. Just where it's really like you get that fresh air, that negative ions, peaceful and calming, and you can imagine yourself that you're maybe relaxing. If you like the beach or the ocean, wonderful. 
maybe some of you like foresting. There's, you know, a, a foresting movement that people go out, you know, walking on trails. Um, I've seen these videos from Japan that people kind of get nourishment there, you know, nature. Some of you may like the kind of the stream or waterfalls, um, kind of like the hiking trail. But whatever it is that feels uh, relaxing, even if you're in your own home and you don't have access to these beautiful nature environments that's close by, you can create that in your head, okay? So with your creative visualization, you can imagine that you're in one of these beautiful places. And to that beautiful place that you're in, you might be in your home. Your home might be your relaxing, sacred area. Wonderful. And we're going to add in the love, peace, and harmony field. So these are the beautiful calligraphies of love, peace, and harmony. It is written in the sacred style of writing, which is called Dao Calligraphy. I'm written by our teacher, Dr. and Master Qigong Sha, who is a trained doctor in Western medicine, traditional Chinese medicine, as well as a grandmaster in many ancient arts, such as Qigong, Tai Chi, Kung Fu, Feng Shui, I Ching, and more. And of course, the sacred art of Shu Fa, which is calligraphy writing. So let us. And he has created these calligraphies from many around the world, um, our Love, Peace, Harmony field representatives. My mother and I are honored to be um, representatives to have these uh, sessions for you. So take this time to just kind of relax and kind of imagine yourself in this beautiful field, Love, Peace, and Harmony. For some of you who are here to see some of the photos of nature, you might even be able to see nature from my window. I see the beautiful blue skies and trees. And actually there is like the mountain view um, outside of my room here. But you can just imagine, we had the beach scene, the forest, the, the, the waterfalls, um, but could, whatever is healing for you. But with that, Imagery, you want to add in this love, peace, harmony field to relax, calm us. And think about your friends or family members that could also use this uh, relaxing, rejuvenation, healing um, space. Like today, I was going to go out with my sister and um, niece, nephew, my daughter um, didn't make it, but we are here right now, um, but you can invite those that may need this extra support and positive uh, message healing environment and invite them in. As we know here in Maui, many families, many people, many souls are recovering you know, from the fires. So we can invite them to join us as we serve them and the many, many responders and volunteers and workers that really went the extra mile to help serve. And I know just by connecting many um, old, very heavy hearts, you know, talking with some of them, um, seeing it firsthand or the news, um, so we invite them to join us to kind of bring this message of love, peace, and harmony into their being to help them soothe, feel more peaceful, so they can continue their service efforts. So imagine the souls that you're inviting in. And just notice, we're going to connect with the field, and we're going to just imagine the light from the field is radiating to them, 
And you know, many of you also have imagined that you were in this beautiful space, um, whether it's nature or maybe your own private sacred room that feels beautiful and um, and you know, supportive, protecting to you, like your own personal uh, sacred sanctuary. And just feel love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. We're going to sing. I'm going to, right now, the music will be playing. I'll have it go on. Background. For those of you who know the words, you can also sing. And for those of you who are feeling pretty good and you really want to use this time for service, again, invite the souls that you want to serve. Again, we're just inviting. And we just um, can dedicate this practice to them and ask them to join us in this practice to just meditate, with love, peace, and harmony, to sing, to uh, trace the calligraphies. In the last week when I was with my daughter at the beach, we went in the ocean and I was singing in my mind and just kind of connecting to all the souls of the, you know, the ocean. Continue to relax, checking in on your body, how it's feeling, inhaling this beautiful light of love, peace, and harmony. You can inhale through your nose, just naturally. Try to bring that breath all the way into your lower abdomen. Imagine a ball of light in your lower abdomen, gently rotating as you're filling that ball in with this light of love, peace, and harmony. And imagine with your heart the feeling of love, peace, and harmony. This pure and positive message of love, peace, and harmony. The more you open your heart, to imagine the light, imagine the feeling, the more you can benefit from this practice.
in love peace and harmony love peace and harmony imagine the love and light coming in to support you Feel your body relax, opening up to receive it from 360 degrees. This message of love, peace, and harmony. Continue to breathe in this love and light. Inhaling through your nose, feel this love, peace, and harmony. Calming, relaxing your body. Bring it to your lower abdomen. Imagine this light feel, this ball of light, condensing this beautiful message of love, peace, and harmony. And imagine the colors of love, peace, and harmony. You can imagine beautiful golden light, rainbow light, purple light. Feel the unconditional love. Feel the peace. Going deeper within your being. And feel, and feel the harmony. Harmonizing your systems, your organs, your cells, cell units, RNA, DNA, to the smallest tiny matter and the spaces in between. Feel the harmonizations of your soul, heart, mind, and body. Or the harmonization from, for relationships or with your finances. Whatever it is, bring in this message of love, peace, and harmony. And imagine this love and light going to all those that you've called in to join or invited in to join. Feel this love, peace, and harmony field is expanding to your location, to the souls, your friends, family members, loved ones, or those that just are in need that you wanted to invite in to join. Could also be locations. I'm also imagining all that area um, in our community, the Lahaina country area. Imagining my whole island area. So you can also connect with your community area where you would like to 
send more love, peace, and harmony. Imagine all the souls in the area opening up to connect, receiving this message, love and light, love, peace, and harmony. feeling giving it to the land that you know we're affected as well Also invite in the groups and organizations that are serving and helping with relief recovery efforts to be in the highest frequency vibration and light for the benefit of the island of the people so you can do this for your own location Every location usually has its own areas that needs more love, peace, and harmony. Second, so stay focus on imagining love peace and harmony and as i was connecting you know uh, with my spiritual channels or so communication channels you can feel the need um, so even if you are able to feel or see it allow yourself to really focus on the message of love peace and harmony love peace and harmony and feeling that light coming to nourish, nurture, heal, transform. Okay, so you might still be able to sense it, but you can feel more of that light coming in to heal and transform. Okay. Heal and transform.
Tin Yuen. These, this song has such a powerful uh, message. You know, when you really connect with the words, you can feel the love and the light expand. So with this field and with the beautiful song, it can be a very powerful transformation. So let us just take some time to inhale. Love, peace, and harmony through your nose, to your lower abdomen. Bring it into your field to condense this message. Love, peace, and harmony as you exhale. Your body relaxes, light expands. One more time, inhale. Love, peace, and harmony to your lower abdomen. Exhale, feel that light field condense. Building this beautiful message of love, peace, and harmony as you exhale. One more time, inhale. Love, peace, and harmony. Exhale, body relaxes. Feel that message expand throughout your body. And we can just say thank you, thank you, thank you to the field. We thank all of you who have joined and all the souls that have come to join us that you may have invited in to practice with us. Say thank you, you can respectfully return. And just check in to see how you're feeling. And as you're doing that, I would love to hear some feedback. You can share in the chat or unmute. And, um, you know, this is just a small, um, you know, few minutes in the field. So I hope that you can continue your wellness journey and your self-care and service journey and your goals. Um, you know, if you need more support, you know, please reach out in the community to get the support you need, whether it's um, mental health providers, you know, physicians and other care providers. And you can also continue to practice and serve in this field. We have our playlist on our YouTube channel. We also have my mother, um, Love Peace Harmony Meditation, as well as her free Dal wellness practice sessions that can kind of bring in more of the energy and love and light. We have um, our free wellness evening with Dal calligraphy on Thursday evenings from seven to eight Hawaii time. And so this is a free registration, but you can get the link information to join us. Um, it should also be um, previous sessions or at least parts of sessions are on our um, playlist on our Satori Family Wellness Center YouTube channel as well. So you can go back and enjoy those. And with our service journey, you know, invite others. If you enjoyed it, you feel others can benefit from it. We welcome you to invite others to join this field live um, because sometimes we forget to record the sessions, but also you can also send the videos if it's on our, you know, YouTube uh, playlist. You can maybe share them. Um, it's also on Facebook as well. So those of you who are able to join on Facebook, you can join. We usually post it on the um, Dao Hawaii Healing Consortium um, Facebook page. It was a formal Maui uh, Dao Healing Maui uh, page, but um, it is to serve all of Hawaii and beyond. And for your service journey, you can continue to donate, do charitable works for groups that resonate with your values, your purposes um, that are meaningful for you. We are honored here at Satori Family Wellness Center to support the charitable works of the Love, Peace and Harmony Foundation that supports these um, sessions that we do as Love, Peace, Harmony field facilitators, representatives. They also um, are sponsoring the um, efforts with the um, Maui Fire Recovery. Uh, so they work with other groups and they're donating, they're matching donations at this time. Uh, they also have like the water well, you know, the clean water uh, well groups and also with, you know, children and family. So we do a lot of wonderful um, things. And 
again, you know, taking this time for yourself, you know, when I was thinking of going to the beach with my daughter, you know, sometimes it's, you might think like, oh, I have other things to do, but self-care really is not selfish. Self-care is to increase the quality of our service. So even though I wasn't able to go there today, in my mind, I, I imagine the beautiful beach and the ocean. I also have the mountain here in my own backyard. Um, so create that beautiful space at the Love Peace Harmony Field and make it extra powerful for you. Um, some of you may want to know about the cards that are available. We have the Love Peace Harmony cards that you can take with you. Um, you can receive them all at the Love Peace Harmony um, website page. You can honor um, some of us here on Maui, we sponsor, um, but there's these cards. I have one right back there, but um, next time I'll, I'll show you. It's, it's similar to what we see here, but in the orange. Um, but you can take it with you. So if you go to the beach, you go to nature, bring the field, you can practice and also receive the healing benefits. So I thank all of you who joined today. Lee, Akara, Brittany, Rhea, Brian, Mom, Nett, thank you so much for joining. Um, I hope all of you are feeling um, well. And um, please continue to share, you know, what can be helpful for you. So we, when we do our sessions, we can maybe address some of your needs for self-care. So don't hesitate to uh, share with us. So thank you, everyone. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Aloha. Bye-bye.